Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to evaluate expressions in fractional form, so expressions with a fraction bar. Now, when we evaluate an expression, we find the value of the expression, so what it equals once we work through it. For our examples, we are going to evaluate the expressions when x equals 6 and y equals 10. Let's jump into number 1, where we have 6x over x minus 3. Now that fraction bar just means division. We have the numerator, the top, divided by the denominator, the bottom. So we work through the top, work through the bottom, then divide. You can think of this as the fraction bar splitting the expression into two groups, the top and the bottom, the numerator and the denominator. Work through each using the order of operations and then divide. Now that we know that we will be working through the top and the bottom, then dividing, the first thing that we need to do is replace or plug in the given values for the variables. This is called substitution. For number one, we have one variable, x, but it's in two different places. Let's plug in 6 for x and rewrite this expression. We will start up top where we have 6x, which is 6 times x. That's going to be 6 times 6 over x minus 3, so 6 minus 3. Now we can evaluate, starting with the top. So we have 6 times 6. Let's work to the side here. 6 times 6 equals 36 over 6 minus 3. Now we can work through the bottom. So this is going to equal 36 over, well, 6 minus 3 equals 3. So we have 36 over 3, 36 divided by 3. That equals 12. So the value of this expression is 12 when x equals 6. To recap, we worked through the top, then we worked through the bottom, and we ended by dividing. Let's move on to number 2, where we have y squared minus 20 over x plus y. Let's plug in and evaluate, starting with y squared. Let's plug in 10 for y. So we have 10 squared minus 20 over x plus y. So plug in 6 for x plus 10 for y. Now we can evaluate. Let's start with the top. So we have 10 squared minus 20. We have an exponent and subtraction. Exponents come before subtraction as far as the order of operations go, so we need to start with 10 squared, which means 10 times 10. So 10 squared equals 100. So let's work to the side here. Starting with the top, so 10 squared equals 100 minus 20 over 6 plus 10. Now we can subtract. So we have 100 minus 20. Let's continue down here. So subtract 100 minus 20. That equals 80 over 6 plus 10. Now we can work through the bottom. So we have addition. This is going to equal 80 over 6 plus 10 equals 16. So now we have 80 over 16, or 80 divided by 16. That equals 5. The value of this expression is 5, when x equals 6 and y equals 10. So there you have it. There's how you evaluate expressions in fractional form. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.